Hey everybody, I'm Mike Thompson. I built the CFI course here at the Epic Flight Academy. And with the help of many talented colleagues together, we have made it the go-to course for those looking to earn the FAA Flight Instructor Certificate. In addition to teaching this course, I wrote the book, Telling is Not Teaching, the Flight Instructor's Handbook. You can find it at amazon.com. The book is built around the idea that effective flight instruction is based on a solid relationship between the instructor and the student. Now, if you think about it, effective teaching of any kind in any subject relies upon a good relationship between the teacher and the student. Telling is Not Teaching was designed to parallel the FAA's Aviation Instructor Handbook 8083-9A. In the Aviation Instructor Handbook 9A and in my book, the first three chapters discuss educational psychology, the next three discuss instructional design, and the final three chapters address the flight instructor profession and responsibilities in general. In later versions of the FAA's handbook, you may notice the chapter numbers change. However, the chapter content should remain essentially the same. Join me as I discuss each of the nine chapters. I hope you find the book enlightening and I sincerely hope it helps you develop as a teacher. Today, I'd like to introduce you to chapter five in Telling is Not Teaching. Our goal in aviation training is, of course, safety and competence. But too often we as teachers think of assessment as simply something that is done at the end of a lesson. To approach ass assessment effectively, it is much more than that. It is an integral part of the teaching and learning process. Knowing that an adult learner is motivated to protect their self-esteem and self-image is central to the teaching and learning relationship. The learner doesn't want bad grades or low scores. And this is why assessment creates anxiety in many students. Understanding this is essential to ensuring that assessment is part of teaching and not just the last step in telling. In other words, if I am really interested in teaching, then assessment is a part of the process of ensuring competence along the way. On the other hand, if all I really care about is just telling, then assessment is just another chore to be accomplished at the end of a session. As you continue to adopt the learner-centered teaching mindset and leave the telling mindset behind, then assessment loses much of its anxiety that's associated with it. Why? Because for the learner, it becomes part of the process rather than an obstacle at the end. If assessment is just regurgitation as proof of remembering the telling of information, then no wonder there's a lot of anxiousness connected to it. To aid us in having clear discussions about assessment, it is critical that we can communicate clearly and to do so, we need to define some terms. What is grading? Is it really different than testing? And is that really not the same as a quiz? Are assessment and evaluation the same thing or not? Is there an important difference between these two? Yes, there is. Join me in Telling is Not Teaching and dig into chapter five to clarify these distinctions and nail down some clear definitions. Have you ever heard of criteria associated with a competency? What's the difference between criterion reference and normative reference in grading? These are important questions for CFIs and understanding the differences will take you further down the path of your professional development as a flight instructor and beyond just the chapter on assessment 
in the Aviation Instructor Handbook by the FAA. How about we just forget the grade completely? When the mutual goal of the teacher and the learner is to truly and deeply understand the content, whatever it is, then together you reach a level of mutual effort that truly surpasses the quest for a grade. You surpass the need for a test because the excellence is in the continual pursuit of competence. And at this level of performance, the learner's competence would easily satisfy any assessment. This is what we aspire to inspire our students too. Wow, talk about a way to alleviate test anxiety. Would you like to discover more about how we as teachers inspire students in the pursuit of competence? Would you like to finally have clear distinctions between the terms that are thrown around when it comes to assessment and evaluation? Don't you want to get at the heart of student assessment and remove the anxiety around it and get at the real goal of competence? Join me in exploring these ideas further. At the end of the chapter, challenge yourself with the activities shown there. Find Telling is Not Teaching at Amazon.com.